So all the people who were sat under the other umbrellas have run in. It was like the cast of cocoon running. Bloody hell, I've never seen so many Jesus sandals move so fast. <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're uh, sticking it outside because they've only got to come back out again. They ran into that door first. Oh, God, like this. And then they go into that one, like that. Golly gosh. I wonder, then they're all sat under umbrellas. I'm completely dry. No, what's wrong with them? Ling's hiding behind her uh, bag because she's uh, keep the makeup fresh. Oh, this girl's not got the right outfit, all white from the rainy weather. That's not a look. Well, anyway, we'll see what this tour brings us. Well, Do you see why Ricardo normally goes on the tour? I'm not great with the other Patreons of the tour. I have very little patience for the people. Oh, we've got a leaky umbrella now. Gosh, I think the rain's been saving itself up. And the little boys will not be sleeping in the hotel. They'll be going, woo, woof, woof, You bloop, you bloop. Let's have a shower. No, we're fine here. Tough it out, Ling, tough it out. Wonderful. The tour group are refusing to leave. The woman in white is holding them at bay. And we're still under here. It's quite exciting though. Yeah. Ling not impressed. You might get wet. Yeah. <laughs> He'll go in a minute. Flying through the gutter. Is there not way, any way we can go in terminally? No. Um, we can see this guy. Ling got under the umbrella. Oh, it's like wet t shirts. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. The rest. <laughs> Oh, we'll go by the toilets. Okay. Okay. Here they all come. <laughs> Poor Stephen. Found that. The car looks perfect as normal. You can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going up the stairs. This is built in 1863. I think what's probably best is you, you know, as normal with us, we're showing you around if you want to know. There's Wikipedia and it's wonderful and it'll tell you everything. Oh, here we go. <coughs> et l'administration, et une autre à oradour sur glane donc une vingtaine de kilomètres de Limoges, où on fait la fabrication des pièces blanches, depuis environ 1900. So this is the decoration center that's still based here. And everyone working away. Euh, donc là, pour cette étape, ça s'appelle le coulage, et je vais avoir une pâte so that's the molds, and then that comes I will make a creamer, so I have a liquid paste. So the same composition as the porcelain, Caroline Feldspath quartz, 
and I had a lot of water. You see that's it, it's a liquid paste, okay? So now my, my mold is full of uh, paste. Et donc, est-ce que quelqu'un sait, du coup, comment est-ce que je vais euh, creuser, du coup, ma pièce pour avoir un fumier comme ceci Je crois que madame a dit la bonne réponse. Je vais venir verser l'excédent, reverser l'excédent dans mon fichier. Voilà. Plus je veux, enfin, si je veux avoir une pièce épaisse, je vais laisser prendre plus longtemps. Donc là, je verse tout. Et en quelque temps, ça s'est déjà collé contre les parois suffisamment pour pouvoir faire ma pièce. Si vous voulez voir à quoi ça ressemble. Voilà, c'est resté. Euh... <laughs> made a little creamer with liquid paste. So my mold is in plaster, so is it porous and it will absorb all the water. Um, so to create the mold, I, we start from a draw made by a designer on a computer. So it represents the final piece. So then I use some plaster and I will, we will sculpt uh, the piece. Like you can see on number six and eight, we start to draw the piece because all is uh, made by hand. So then you have the number 10, the, with what we call the model. And then we will put the model in plaster with soap in order to take the print. And then I will have um, mold number 11. And thanks to this mold, I will I, c I could make um, what we called a mover mold in order to produce a lot of molds after. So the model number 10 is 14% bigger than the final pieces because with a lot of firing, it will reduce. The, the size will reduce. And um, we can use a mold 40 times. After we have to throw it away because it will be no more porous and it will not work. Is it okay? Et là, hop. Donc je vais pouvoir démouler mon crémier. Et là, donc voilà. Voilà, ma petite pièce. Est-ce que vous... Enfin voilà, vous pouvez toucher. Ça reste très fragile. Ça encore aussi. Certains endroits, alors là, il faut que ce soit un peu de l'eau à temps de sécher. Ça va trop vite. Il faut très léger. Il faut sécher, avoir une cuisson, un émaillage, une autre cuisson, et après la décoration et d'autres cuissons derrière. Très léger. Oui, ça reste fragile, effectivement. Et donc, on a pu faire également d'autres pièces. Donc, comme par exemple le site couvert. Donc là, il est un peu plus sec, c'est ça. Et ma collègue, elle, donc, fait des anses. C'est pas évident, elle n'a pas donc elle peut penser, c'est un peu de sa ferme. Oui, elle craque, elle se démoule, bon, ça va quand même. C'est bien, c'est bien. Oui. C'est très bien. Si quelqu'un souhaite repartir avec une anse ou un petit crémier, il y a possibilité. <laughs> See, Ricardo normally goes on these tours on his own because I'd rather eat my own hand than be stood here. But hey, -ho. I can say I've done it once. I like I like it when we're in the factory shop, but the the touring is. Uh, I'm not really good at other, going at other people's paces. I quite like my own pace around places. But she's very good, actually. The lady's very good and quick to the point. It's just the other people just dawdle. But Ricardo loves it. He's away with the fairies. He's very happy. Probably 10,000 of these near local shops soon. Then we'll be whipping the design up at home. Yeah.
que c'est la mémoire du banc blanc C'est le témoignage uh, We choose to let it to let it there because it was to illustrate the work of the past because in the past the workers took the shelves on their shoulders one, two and sometimes on their hands to put the pieces in the oven yes, so uh, they wanted Half a million to pieces let it within here these shelves. in order to illustrate the memory of work the, the work of past like a, a heritage okay has, has the recipe you know for the porcelain has it changed over time um, to make it stronger or or is it still quite the original um, you know the mixture the original mixture has it changed much over um, the years i don't think so it's the same uh, ingredients yeah, yeah. that was your question yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. i wonder if they tried to make it stronger oh uh, no because it's the same reset received um no yeah. uh, they were already strong yeah. So we don't, we didn't change the receipt. Was it your question? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And just um, two steps that I explained. Um, so the um, garnishing, it's when you stick the handle. To stick the handle, you just take the same liquid paste that I used the step before, and with a little brush, I stick on my piece. And we also um, rub the mark. Of made by made by the wood. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we remove uh, all the seam. Yeah. You can we take the seam off there. Like this. Yeah. We mm. remove it. Oh. Okay. So if this one has a piece. The whole house has not changed. There is a piece of the meat. So look at those little hats. They're amazing. Little hats. So all porcelain is not. That's pretty. It's quite light, that one. Uh, for this step, I have my semi soft paste. So imagine it's soft like a modeling clay. So as it's in the open hair, it's uh, harder. So I will put into the mold. And with a light, a, an iron tool, it will spread all my paste around the mold. Yes, as you can see on the video, you see that there are some glue inside, mm -hmm. which will make um, my piece like not the same, but you can see that if I make it. Yeah. Okay. So now it's automated, oh, wow. yeah. and it's for it's for make it's, it's to make pieces like ball, teacup, or little funny, light. Um, <laughs> Sugar dish, things like this. Uh, little funny or photo for. I will show. For the you candle, you put the candle. Yes. Right. They're very famous for them, they're in the yeah. shop. The white things, they're like a dome. Yeah, and how many can they make now? Um, <laughs> let me think now. I think it's 1,100 per hour. And but before, I, they would do it. How many would it take before by hand? Ah, uh, um. I have to check it, yeah. Yeah, it's a now, automated. Yeah, no. It's called a pressage isostatic. So I, I will press uh, the powder. So um, my paste for this step is like powder. I will show you just after. And it's like it's to make. Like so, I will put my powder in the mold and we will press 10 tons. It will assemble all the powder and make my paste. Is it okay? Wonderful, yeah. Yeah, okay. You're having a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look. This is like this. 
Ja, ist wundervoll. So we go to the next. I can see the light through. So this is the glazing section. And this is also what gives it the strength of the firing. <laughs> this is the glazing bath. So it's the same composition as the porcelain, but maybe there are more quartz. So as as you have seen, I put my plate inside just one time, and thanks to the glazing, my plate will be like this. You can hear, and you have seen that it's translucent. So it has all the Yes, of the porcelain. And you can see that it's really smaller than the first disc. It's yeah. thanks to the second firing. And uh, when I did this, it's because I don't want that the glaze will be here because it will stick in the oven if I mm. don't remove the glaze. Wow. Okay. So that's, that's all for this time.